Hopefully we'll encounter some potions. Quiet. There's someone up there. Is someone there? Mother. It's you. What happened here? He... He tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. My darling. Darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! <gasps> Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it! The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors! How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling the Hamid as we speak. <gasps> Shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you...
do it. down here. It's gonna be a tough opponent to see I can actually go in the air. Damn, because he's strong. Ah, dang, he's outside of where I can go. This is an awesome fight. I mean, all the Icon fights are pretty awesome. Flare. Clive has learned the ability Split Flare. Spit Flare from Bahamut. R2 Triangle will release a massive stream of light that sears anything in its path. Use the stick to aim it. Ooh. X any time to cancel the attack. Extend exposure to the flare will cause enemies to become partially staggered, canceling any in initiated abilities. Maintaining the flare for its maximum duration, meanwhile, will result in an enhanced finishing explosion. Ah. Totally worth it. Oh, that's right, I forgot you can hold that for an extended period of time. Oh, Josh is actually still around. So is he actually he's actually helping this boss site? That's cool.
pretty darn good damage there. Gotta say. Oh, bodying the Phoenix again. That's that's cool. Move, fire, charge, fireball, fade. Volley, you still have to analog stick while holding circle, lock on multiple targets, release the launcher volley of fireballs at all targets. Ooh. It's while holding circle? Okay. All abilities available on bodying the Phoenix can be firm on the ability stab in the main menu. Okay. Sounds like an on-rail shooter now. Okay. Oh, I can charge. Nice. Kind of hard to keep track of the button to aim though. The uh, cursor. Keep dodging the Mega Flare. Definitely seems to be just charging. Still only need a charger for like a second. Could take those things out, or just keep on focusing on Bahamut. I'm gonna focus on Bahamut because I have a feeling he'll just summon more of those things. I should take some out. He's one one. Oh, it's pretty weak. Never mind. This is an epic fight, though. I actually love these multi-staged fights. Yeah, of course he's summoned three this time. Where 
those made out of? Just ether? Those are pretty cool. So far, so good. Dodge Mega Flare again. I can't remember any fight, especially in the Final Fantasy stuff. At least from what I played. It's anything like this. Giga Flare. battling as the Ifrit. And we got full firelight again. Excellent. Alright, probably won't get a great time, so... Sick fight, I'm loving it. I'm glad I chose to progress the story more. Rather than doing the side missions first. Because this is awesome. Triple coil. We're not done yet. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stops now. Thank you, brother. You spit flare again on him. Crud, crud, crud. 
Hit by freaking all of them. Eh, I guess Brimstone can be used offensively. Good. Remember, it's like a defensive barrier. Surprisingly, Bahamut's almost beat. Oh, I was gonna do Spit Flare, but... Glad I didn't. Defeated. Ah, good amount of experience. Not special though.
Ice embodying Ifrit Risen. Enhanced versions of most of Ifrit's abilities are available for use as Ifrit Risen. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Risen also has access to the ability Light Speed, which, similar to Phoenix Shift, allows for a uh, swift approach to a target. Light Speed can be executed by pressing X. Cool. And other abilities. That's awesome, though. Fusion of the Freet and the Phoenix. Oh, so we can still do the wildfire or a light speed. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Especially since the arena's out in space. Let me get closer. Dang it. Do spit flare though. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him. Decent amount of damage. Uh, this is awesome. I mean, the other parts were fantastic, but this is even better. That second fight where it's you and the Phoenix merged to a free Urizen. Very cool. Except we have to do a lot of distant attacks though. That part I'm not too crazy on. It's probably a lot of fireball shots. I think I actually defended myself with the brimstone. Nice, that got rid of a significant amount of his health. Ow, couldn't get to half though. That will continuously occur. All right, cool. I could go up during all that. For him, with this kick flare, I can just go right around. Nice. I'm surprised this fight is it harder than what it is. It's not too hard right now. Maybe enough. But still such an epic fight. Celestia Founder, holy crap. I should use Brimstone. I was aiming to, too. I just pressed the wrong button.
Nice, Brimstone actually does do a good amount of damage. Good. And the Spit Flare was still going. I hope this isn't the only time. Well, I'm sure it's not the only time we're with this. This, uh, form? You could call it? Now, surprise, Brimstone actually does quite a bit of damage. No! I actually got hit. Stagger a little bit. Get some spit flare on him. Bahama defeated. Truly defeated this time. Light Shard. The power of the icon Bahama made manifest. This crystal is as bright as the sun and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear.
My brother. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. Reunited at last. Jill. done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. <laughs> the Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Done to call them off. I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance. I want you to find out By the light! Dion! Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember 
There was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you best steal before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire? Of its rulers? Of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. He doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kinslayer. Stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand.
Mother. that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. Genesis shall a new age of reason begin. Relax, Your Majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish... Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment. Their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours.
Dang, that's a lot to drop on us. Plus, that makes sense why Dion was going crazy and attacking everybody then. But back to the hideaway, and hopefully it'll probably be a point we could stop at. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another rises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. <sighs> all right, things fall apart. The power of light. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Changing with Bahamut only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing a continuous damage. Ooh. Use Bahamut's iconic feet, Wings of Light, to begin casting Mega Flare. What? An immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with the deluge of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press circle to cast the spell when ready. Tony won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. Interesting. Rest, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Well, really quick then, let's definitely check out the abilities then. Bahamut channeled. So based on the layout here then. My guess would be the next is either it's probably Odin, and then ah shoot, who's the ice one? Um, uh, but ice element here. Man, why can I not think of her name? Wings of light. What's the details for it? Mastery increases maximum Mega Flare level to four. Giga Flare. Beam of overcharged light that burns any enemy it hits. Ooh, but I'm at the point now where don't want to make this stronger, or don't want to get a new one. Let's get a new one. Let's go ahead and get this. It's just a hundred. Impulse. Go ahead and upgrade Bahamut stuff. And we'll try that the next time that we're playing. I'll try it instead of Titan. Yep, because Rising Flames is the only one I have mastered that I can actually carry to a different icon. Cool. Yeah, learned a lot more. Got through a good chunk of story here. Even though I played for three hours. Still a good amount of story that we went through. 
Got a new icon and abilities. And it's interesting that the child, I, I don't know if it was just, if it was Ultima or if it was a part of Ultima, since he just disappeared, didn't die like a regular person would. And it's very interesting how the Emperor of Weilud, who has the power of Odin, is actually a servant to Ultima. Very interesting. And next time we play, we'll do some side quests. Oh no, actually, next time we'll continue a little bit, then we'll do side quests. Until then, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Definitely appreciate it if you've been watching from the beginning and you're still watching this. Awesome, and thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a great day.